The Dopfer A183-2 module is a voltage offset generator, combined with an attenuator, polarizer. The module has two knobs, a switch, one input and two output jacks. The first knob is the offset and the second is the attenuator or polarizer. The switch in the middle lets you choose between attenuator and polarizer modes. The input accepts the input signal, which overrides the voltage output by the offset generator, which will be explained in more detail later. The two outputs are the same, so you get two identical outputs. Those two outputs have the voltage by the offset generator, the range of which can be controlled by a jumper on the back of the module between 0 volts and plus 5 volts or between minus 5 volts and plus 5 volts. This can be done by using the jumper JP3 on the PCB. The lower position will be between minus 5 volts and plus 5 volts, and the upper position will be between 0 and plus 5 volts. As usual with Dopefer, users are given the opportunity to modify the module with some electronic knowledge. In the case of this module, by replacing a resistor on the PCB, additional ranges will be available. When the switch is in the attenuator position, the second knob, attenuator, acts simply as an attenuator. So, when the knob is in position 0, fully counterclockwise, it attenuates the signal to 0, and when it is in position 10, fully clockwise, 100% of the signal passes through. And if the switch is set to polarizer, the second knob, attenuator, will act as a polarizer, with zero signal level represented by the middle position of the knob. So, if you start turning the knob to the right from the center position, the input signal will be added to the voltage generated by the offset, and if you turn it to the left, the input signal will be subtracted from the offset voltage. In polarizer mode the amplification range is between minus 1 and plus 1, while in attenuator mode the range is between 0 and plus 1, which can also be modified by changing a resistor on the PCB. So, this module performs three main functions, offset generator generates constant voltage, attenuator controls signal amplitude, polarizer controls amplitude and reverses signal. See how it works with an LFO. We've already seen how the attenuator works in the previous episode, now we're looking at a quick patch. The offset range of the module is currently set between minus 5 volts and plus 5 volts using the jumper at the back, so the 0 volt is in the middle position of the offset knob. The sign signal from the LFO is connected to the first input of data, shown by this green line above, and is fed from the first output of data to the input of the A183-2. The output of the module is connected to the second input of data, shown by the blue line. Since the attenuator knob is in position 0, it reduces the incoming signal to 0. As you start turning the knob clockwise, the signal will increase until you reach position 10, so 100% of the incoming signal strength. We looked at this in the previous episode, now let's see what other changes we can make using offset. Since our module is now in the minus 5 volt and plus 5 volt range, the offset knob sends 0 volts to the outputs in the center position, dash 5 volts counterclockwise, and plus 5 volts when turned fully clockwise. First, let's see what happens when the LFO signal is sent to the input and the switch is in attenuator mode. The offset knob is set to the center, where it sends 0 volts to the outputs, since the attenuator knob is set to 0, it does not pass the signal from the input. As we start to turn the attenuator knob to the right, our signal appears, reaching 100% at position 10. Now let's see what the offset knob does. If you turn it to the left, the output gets a negative voltage, so the voltage of the signal coming from the LFO starts to drop, and turning the knob to the left reduces the signal by minus 5 volts. As you can see the LFO signal was initially moving between minus 5 volts and plus 5 volts, now it is moving between minus 10 volts and 0 volts. Let's reset the offset to the middle position and see what happens when we start turning to the right. Thus, a positive voltage comes to the outputs, is added to the signal coming from the LFO and starts to rise. Turning all the way to the right, our signal will range between 0 volts and plus 10 volts. Now let's check the changes when the switch is in polarizer mode. In polarizer mode, the attenuator knob is in the middle position at zero, so no signal appears at the output. 
As soon as we start turning the knob to the right, the LFO signal appears, turning all the way to the right, reaches 100% signal strength. And if we also turn the offset knob to the right, a positive voltage is added to the signal, as we can see. Fully clockwise adds plus 5 volts. And if you turn it to the left, a negative voltage arrives, turning the knob all the way to the left is dash 5V. Now turn the attenuator knob to the left, so that the signal coming from the LFO is subtracted from the voltage given by the offset generator, as a result of which we can see that the signal is inverted and attenuated. The offset knob, as in the previous case, either adds plus 5 volts to the signal in the right end position or reduces it in the left end position. And what is all this good for? Well, as in the modular world, this can only be limited by imagination, since we can reduce the signal strength, deliver a constant voltage, shift and invert in both positive and negative directions relative to the x-axis. One of the most common patches where we can take advantage of these features is the control of the VCA. Since with a CV signal controlling the VCA, it is not necessarily useful if our signal drops below zero volts and stays there for half a phase. So, we just add a few volts in the required amount and the signal stays between zero and the positive range we have determined. So, as you can see, it's mainly used for adding or subtracting voltage, so you can control your signal above or below zero volts, but as with everything in the modular world, the possibilities are endless. I hope my video has helped you learn new things. If you have any questions or suggestions, please post them below in the comments section. If you would like to see more tutorial videos, please help my channel grow by liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching, see you next time.